Until last week, California was set to abandon nuclear power by 2025. But in the midst of what we're seeing right now, the state's legislature has voted to extend the life of nuclear's, uh, of California's last nuclear power plant to five years, five years longer, postponing the closure of the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant, which generated 6% of California's electricity. Now they've got till 2030. It is funny to see they've got this ideology, but then reality comes in and screws everything up. And now the power plant gets another five years. Well, yeah, you mentioned before importing from other states. So Los Angeles has long imported from Utah, which is primarily coal power. Right. So a lot of the celebrities right. don't realize that. I mean, the, the nuclear thing just reveals how anti-human uh, the modern environmental movement is, because you would think they would love nuclear, and yet they've been shutting down all the nuclear plants they can. They shut down the plant in San Onofre, which is fairly near me yep. in Southern California, and they were going to shut down this Diablo Canyon plant. And now they're saying, oh, we'll give it another five years. We should be building a lot of new nuclear power plants. But because the green movement has virtually criminalized nuclear, yeah. we basically are building nothing. They can't. New. They can't make any money off nuclear is the point, right? There's no, that's not a new idea that you can throw government funding at and, and it's, not, it's not part of their financial agenda. I mean, you basically, if you if you put enough regulations on something and you allow enough activists to delay it, so these nuclear power plants used to take four years. Yeah. Now they take 16 years and have a good chance of being canceled. So who wants to invest in something that Greenpeace can shut down if it doesn't like it, which is guaranteed to not like it? Yeah.